Adam tries to put it on God. What's he say? This woman you gave me caused me to eat of the fruit. In other words, if you hadn't gave me this woman, God, I wouldn't be in this situation. Mm -hmm. hmm? That's typical of human beings. We find excuses for anything we want to do. Mm. Huh? But it was not God's fault. It was Adam's fault for not accepting his responsibility. Mm -hmm. When we know mm. what God expects of us, and we understand what God's laws are. God holds us responsible for not being obedient. We must learn that word, obey. Huh? Obey God and live. Obey Satan and die. Hmm? I hope you all got something out of this lesson because uh, we had some technical difficulties and all that but we got them all worked out and we finally got uh, to do part part four mm -hmm. of this sermon because I kept telling my wife we got to hurry up and do this mm -hmm. because I don't like to give somebody half of anything mm -hmm. I don't like to give somebody three quarters of anything mm -hmm. give them 100 percent book, chapter, and verse. You go read it for yourself. Matthew mm -hmm. chapter 2 mm. verse 11 but read the whole chapter. Mm -hmm. huh? And I'm going to do a series here and I'm going to explain why the world is in the shape that it's in now. Mm -hmm. Everybody's asking how can this happen? Why is America in this shape? Why are we, why is this happening? Why is that happening? And I'm going to explain to you from the Bible why this is happening. It's because we are disobedient to God. We have left God. By what? By our sinful ways. Hmm? If America would repent today, yes, everybody get on their knees mm. and repent, mm. God would turn the whole situation around tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And we would become one nation under God again. Amen. I truly believe that. Amen. But so, so many people don't even believe that there, there's a God. Mm -hmm. Huh? Some people don't want to obey. I don't have to obey nobody. I'm a president. Mm -hmm. I'm a CEO. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm a millionaire. Mm -hmm. I'm a billionaire. All this stuff you see here. Mm -hmm. Houses, land, <laughs> cars, money. Not yours. Not yours. What you say, preacher? I said, not yours. Mm -hmm. Huh? Not yours. God just let you borrow it for a minute. Yes, sure. Huh? He, you need to be a good steward over what God gives you. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. If it was yours, you could take it with you. When me. you die, not you going to take house with you? You going to take money with you to the grave? You going to take <laughs> emphasis all, on all all the things my you accumulate, you're going to take and put them in my the ground with you, take them with you? Mm -hmm. My no. money. Mm -hmm. My land. The Bible says what? Not yours. Same way you came in. Lungs of God. Hey. How did you come in this Lungs of God. And this is temporary. Hey. Huh? Mm -hmm. You got another life to live. Mm -hmm. And one, and, and that's an eternal life, meaning you're never going to die again. Mm -hmm. So either you're going to live obey God and live with Him mm -hmm. eternally yeah. in a good place? Yeah. Are you going to live eternally yeah. in that lake of fire? How do you do Punishment. Punishment. Oh, don't say that, preacher. I got to say that. Punishment. Yeah. You think you're going to do all these wrong things and God is not going to punish you? What kind of father would he be? Huh? 
you think he's going to reward you the same way he's going to reward his children which have been obedient? I don't think so. He says there's punishment for being disobedient. Punishment. Mm -hmm. Only thing I can tell you is repent. Okay. Repent. Okay. And obey and serve a true and a living God. Yes, huh? Yes, sir. Now I'm going to ask you one question and then I'm going to stop. What do you know on this earth that does not change? Time changes. You got a car? It breaks down. It goes back to where it came from. Everything on this earth changes except what? God's Word. He says, I'm the same today, tomorrow, and forever. God is everywhere. God knows all. God sees all. And God has all power. So why won't you serve a God like that? You can't fool God. He knows what you're doing. We are stupid if we think we can fool God. Huh? Stop doing the things that you know are against God. And repent and serve Him. If you lost your house, get on your knees and pray. Repent. God will give you another house. Huh? Maybe give you the same house back. I don't know. But I'm, I'm a firm believer that if you will repent, God will reward you. Huh? He said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness and all things, not some things, but all things shall be added unto you. Huh? That's the kind of God we want to serve. Huh? Turn from your wicked ways. Serve God. He's waiting. He's waiting. God has already given 100% when he gave his son. Huh? How much have you given God? 5%? 10%? 15%? Some of us. Zero. But you expect God to reward you. You expect God to hear your prayers. It never happened. Unless you repent. Hmm? Repent, America. Read Matthew chapter 24 and Mark 13. And you, see, you can see that what's happening now today it's just the beginning. And I'm, my next teaching sermons are going to be about that. What's happening today? What's coming in the future according to the Bible? Okay? May God bless you, keep you, protect your family. Hmm? And we pray, oh God, that this country will repent and turn back to you, Father. For you created us to worship you and be obedient. And we pray that this country will change, oh God. Not only this country, but the whole world will change and understand that you are God. That you are the creator and that you must be obeyed, Father. Because there's a day coming. A lot of people don't believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. But the Bible says what in the end? It says every knee shall bow.